Ben! Home. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing? Hello. Jeez, God, you, the mask is still terrifying <laughs> with your one peeper. Oh my God. You've got like, sam you look like Samurai Ant. That's who I want to be. <laughs> the last Samurai Ant. Uh, it's me, your boy, um, Tom Cruise. We're back. We're still in the science house. We're still in Science Landia. Oh, we've got a quest. No, fuck up, Burgle. Don't fuck up, Burgle. Careful, you, oh, can. you can. Oh my God. Okay, <laughs> right. Uh, geez, Ben. I honestly didn't think I'd be allowed to do that. Um, what happens if he dies? Uh. Uh, so, Burgle wants us to go and explore Spade Gulch, wherever that is. Okay. Um, is that the only thing he wants? Normally he's got like a long list of things. Yeah, he doesn't have any other quests for us today. Oh. I don't think, I think because you stabbed him in the face. He promised new quests every day. Yeah, but he only understands how to grill. Uh, he doesn't really know a lot about questing. Wow, he knows all about getting my hopes up though, doesn't he? Yeah, uh, poor... Poor Ben. Poor Burgle. Yeah. He grilled my hopes well done. Nice. Have you have you done this thing already over here? Like the three green buttons and the three orange buttons? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, man. Like, I solved that, like, instantly. Uh, I think. Yeah, because it activated the screen that first turned on Burgle or something. Oh, okay, cool. I wasn't involved in that. I was yeah. too busy distracted by the, the 1980s, like... Art, clip art. Yeah, isn't it cool? Yeah. I'd like to go back and finish building up the base. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. That sounds good. I think with our powers combined, because before I sort of just abandoned you to make the base, mm -hmm. but if we both build the base... Oh, our powers combined! Yeah, we'll probably make a bit more... Okay. Are you more of a chopper or a builder, do you think? Um, I think a bit of column A, a bit of column B. Um, oh, also, I've got an interesting uh, thing for you. Yeah. A little bit of uh, knowledge. Drop a knowledge bomb on me. You know, lemon crime? Yeah. Apparently, that is a pun of lemon and lime. Yeah, I'm aware. Oh, wow. I just... I, that pun was so abstract, <laughs> I just did not... Oh, now we're one all. Did not pick up I on... Because I got lemon crime immediately, but then he, I didn't understand armed raspberry. Uh, yeah. Oh, God, there's a spider. I just want some... There's rose petals here. Do, do, you wanna, do you reckon we can take a spike? We've got, like, poison blades. We have got poison blades. Is it the same kind of spider we fought before, or is it, like, a different kind? Uh, yeah, it's the... Orb spider question mark? Okay, because I think the wolf spiders are like tougher, right? Hell yeah. I don't know if the poison sword is any good because I just killed a weevil with it and I feel like it did less damage than the spear. Really? Oh. What is? What even but, is the point of but this? It, it's quite hard to make, so it must be good, right? Yeah. That's like game design rule number one. Although, maybe, you know, in life, not everything that is hard is worth doing, Ben. Oh, that's true. Sometimes the easy, and you the have, easy way you out. You have mastered the art. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's like a, it's like a famous Bill Gates quote of uh, you, you should always hire a lazy person mm -hmm. to do a difficult job because they will find the easiest way to do it. Oh, I feel like that's a real gamble. Oh, you, you, you might find a super genius who'll find a way to like write a script to do the job for him. Uh huh. But you might just get a lazy bum who like just doesn't do doesn't the job. Do the job. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, and I feel like there's more lazy bums out there than there are like genius coders. Yeah. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Take our sample size of two. <laughs> exactly. No genius coders here, are there? No, no. But uh, a <laughs> couple of lazy bums for exactly sure. Exactly that. Oh my god, get out of here, you little nap. Do you think we can get the um, the sprinkler going? Oh my god, I'd love to do that. Would that be like apocalyptic hailstorms for us, though? That, but think of the, our water problems would just be over. Oh, there's clay here. Oh, okay. Let's get some clay while we're here. Dig up some clay. Maybe we should go home and get to bed. My pack is full. I have to oh god. Okay, I can pick up some. Nice. Oh, also, apparently, you can take blades of grass and take them to the Scanatron 5000s. Ah, does that give us more build buildatrons? No idea, probably. but I think it's probably worth um, scanning as much stuff as possible. 
Yeah, to, so, to unleash the science. Yeah, 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 because more science is more good, right? Always. Go west. Where the grass is green. Go west. Where the spiders are me. <laughs> Go west. Ben is not very clean. Go west. Tom is very mean. <laughs> uh, wait, where are we use mean? Shit. Oh, man. I chose the, uh, the right half of that song to sing. Uh... Are you fighting? I'm just running away. Do you hear Jumanji drums? Yeah, yeah, because there's bad, bad, bad mites. Okay. And there's no point in fighting them because we can't even pick up their loot. Yeah. Oh, no, it's Lemon Crime. Oh, uh, Lemon Crime. I was hoping it was going to be Tropicop. I was hoping too. Tropicop is my lord and saviour. He's also very close to the base. <laughs> well, that's why. Every time I see him, I'm like, yay! We're almost home. Man, how, how do you reckon you do in Jumanji Land? In the what playing the board game Jumanji? Yeah, if you got sucked into Jumanji and you had to live like a wild Robin Williams man. Oh, terror! Like horribly. I think I'd die really, really quickly. Um, what do you think would kill you? Like, I think you could name any single event that happens <laughs> in Jumanji, and that would kill me. I I don't know, man. Because like, I think yeah, probably like you know the rhino stampede or whatever. That'd be bad. Mm -hmm. Um, but. The main threat that he seems most afraid of is, like, the colonial huntsman. Oh, yeah, but if that guy's main thing is, like, hunting man, yeah. uh, Van Pelt is his name. But I th I think I could take him. Do you He's got a gun, man. Well, he never uses it. He uses that gun a lot. No. He's shooting all over the place. He's not trying to shoot him, though, is he? He's, he's pretty sure he is. Uh, Josh, roll a clip of <laughs> Van Pelt uh, <laughs> hunting Robin Williams. He's blasting all the time, and later on, he goes and he buys like an like an assault yeah, rifle. Oh, with my God. Um, I've got a very different memory of this. like gold doubloons, because um, he doesn't have like Monday money, and he's like, "Will this be enough?" and um, uh, just puts a bag of like gold coins down, and the guy's like, "Oh yeah, sure, here, take some, take a load of ammo as well." Wow. Um, oh my God. Okay, in my mind, he was just like had a had like a blunderbuss on his back. But because it was a kids' film, was just kind of like chasing after him with like a whistle or something. No, 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 no. He sh he shoots he shoots a lot. Oh wow. Um, oh okay. No, I'm dead. Then I'll definitely die. Uh yeah, like guy with gun, very strong. Um, and yeah, that guy knows how to survive in the jungle. Like if we're in the jungle, very bad. Um, if I'm like one of the kids playing the game in real life, um, and the stuff is coming out of the board game. Then I reckon I do better. Uh, yeah, because you, you know, you've got your stuff and you're not trapped in the jungle. Yeah, I've got like you know I've got my street smarts, um, which I think I could evade, you know, well, we could, monkeys and rhinos in Bristol a lot better than I could in the jungle. And we could kite them past like the animal control people. Oh yeah, hopefully also there's police. Yeah, but hopefully they would turn up, and like. You know, shut them down. Like, come and arrest the arrest all the animals. Okay, right. What do we want our base base to be? What is like the vision? Uh, shall I go do the scan? Before we oh yeah, if you want to go and scan a thing. Yeah, I'll go scan a thing. Um. Okay, I'm gonna have like a little see what we can make. So there is one thing that always annoys me with the base. Mm -hmm. Is you got to jump to go in <laughs> the front door. Oh, I didn't notice. Uh, we can build triangle walls now. Wow. Uh, I'm just gonna lay down like a load of blueprints and just see, kind of like see how this looks. Oh my god. Just see what starts, uh, just how the base starts taking shape. Okay, go um, for it. Uh, while you do that, I will regale you with the tale of a new weapon we've never used. Tell me, Ben. It's called Bratburst. Oh, the Bratburst. An incendiary sausage stuffed with reactive fungus and dry grass. Okay. Lays waste to everything in a small radius. Well, this sounds just fantastic. It's a Molotov sausage. Okay. We need ant eggs. Apparently they're a bit explosive. Right. Oh, so we might have to go and do a raid on the ant base again. Yeah, we'll turn their children into napalm. Into bombs. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm, I'm just... I'm so into that, like, sort of idea. Yeah. How do we fill the water container up as well? I guess we need canteens. Oh, yeah. Don't you make canteens out of something? That sounds about right. 
Where did you find the grubs? Uh, by the tree. Oh, they were underground, weren't they? Yeah. Okay, I could go make us some canteens and, like, get... Because I'm already out of water, just minutes in. Okay. Uh, how about, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm thirsty and starving. Oh, I'm an idiot, Ben. Yeah, I know. But... Just, like, a super idiot. I was, like, crafting stuff like, what the hell? Why is none of this working? And my inventory was full. And I was just dropping everything I was crafting. <laughs> so you just got a pile of stuff. Just, just, just a pile of just garbage everywhere. Oh, Tommy. Okay, I'm off to get um, acorns and grubs. D amazing. Don't forget to praise Tropicop. Praise Tropicop. He giveth <laughs> and he taketh away. Because he giveth delicious juice, but he taketh away your thirst. Ah, oh, perfect. Tropicop. It's like a two for one. So what's what's your perfect base, Tom? If you could like just like get someone in, get like a grand designs guy, um, to like build it for you. What what are, what are your requirements? Ooh, I I oh I'm partial to a good view. Mm. I like a good view. Um, I like like a little like maybe a a nice veranda oh, area. Okay. Um, it's not only just. It's not enough to live. You gotta live in style. Yeah, I wanna. I wanna be able to like look out, look out across my land. I wanna be like Mufasa, and I've got Simba there, and I'm like, one day <laughs> all of this will be yours, but it won't because I'll never let you outlive me. Because it's all mine. It's all mine. And you'll have to kill me. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, and the moment like you turn on me, that's when I I have to kill them. You just bait them into it, so you you look like the good guy. Yeah, exactly. I'm like they betrayed me. <laughs> they have left me scarred and disfigured. My boy. Uh, yeah, something like that. Like a nice look. Um, taller. Taller is better. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to be high up. Um, once again, in Star Wars, very good to be high up. In Star Wars? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you always want to be higher up in Star Wars. I don't understand. You've made it some kind of unfathomable leap in logic here. What? Because, uh, you know, uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi... Ah, oh, of course. Anakin, I'm, <laughs> higher high up. Ground. I'm higher up than you, Anakin. Oh my god, I just forget. And he's like, I don't understand the analogy. <laughs> and then he jumps and he gets fucking yeah. just laser sword. Of course. I was thinking of the Phantom Menace when, like, Obi-Wan, oh. the way Darth Maul had the high ground. Oh, yeah, that's different. That was too high. <laughs> <laughs> right. You don't want to go too didn't, high didn't up. Didn't help him out there, did it? No. Uh, different opinions on the importance of high ground. Yeah, I guess like, but one was like acrobatic, and one was just like a regular jump. So you know, what is what is best? I mean, if the prequels have taught us anything, it's more flips is more, more good. Well, definitely in terms of the prequels, more flips is more good, hundred <laughs> percent. Like no one is ever going to argue with that. So, what is your perfect base? Um, I need to ha like the thing is, I want it high, and I want like floors, but I don't want to go like. Having to go like, oh, I need a thing from the thing. Oh, I have to go down. Oh, having get to walk thi around endlessly. Yeah, yeah. I, like, I want my my storage right next to my crafting station. Yeah. Um, thereby kind of like making the the floors irrelevant. Yeah. Because I want everything in like one convenient place. But um, you know, I want I want to have my cake and eat it basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I I, I get that. I get that for sure. Um. I, I do. I think having them close, but you know, a degree of separation. Um, you know, I want them to be. You know, I like having like a storage, a defined storage area. Hmm. Uh, but I don't want to be running back there every five seconds. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Who's got time for that? So what's like? Well, you, like what? Like aesthetic? Would you go for with your base? Like you know, assuming you're not even in tiny little person grassland. Hmm. Although fuck, man. Okay, right. Your tiny little person grassland. What are you making your base out of? Uh, well, not grass. Okay. I feel like that's a bad move. Oh yeah. Like, what's grass known for doing? Oh jeez. What happens to grass when you cut it and leave it leave it out? Well, yeah, like just dries out and rots and yeah, uh, and turns into mush. And a lot of things around here eat it. <laughs> yeah, it's like the main food for a lot, um, a lot of a lot of things. Um, so I feel like it may in fact be the worst thing to build your base out of. Yeah. Mushy short-lasting predator food. Mm. Um, tree bark might be a good one. Tree bark. That lasts a bit longer. Okay. And it's sturdy. Pretty load-bearing, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, it's going to be a bit like a little bit harder to get hold of, I guess. Uh, you can peel it off in chunks. 
Oh, that's true. With your tools. I don't know. It might be too tough to peel off. We might not be strong enough yeah, for that. Yeah, we're like tiny, tiny, tiny little baby boys. See, I think you're missing, like, you know, the more abstract choices. Oh, you want to okay. try and find yourself, like, a, you know, like a plastic toy castle or something. Oh, my God. Wow. Okay. Uh, and... Well, yeah, we could live in the mint box, right? Oh, my God. Yeah. See-through plastic. You get your views. Oh, God. I don't know. Like, I think... Like, I feel kind of a little bit uncomfortable. Like, you know, in, like, super modern houses. Yeah, where they have the whole wall is glass. Across, yeah. Like, the entire thing. And... And everyone can look in. But usually those houses are built, you know, in the middle of nowhere, where but, no one's walking past. But even then, like... I'd say I'm a pretty realistic person, but I think I've still seen enough, like, spooky horror films that, right. that I would still feel a little bit uncomfortable that... What if someone is out there? Like, they're out there in the dark. You're sat in there in yeah, the light. Yeah, you can't see them. They um, can peep on you. And, you know, sometimes... Tom's you, the one that wants to peep. Sometimes you're the one that wants to peep. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. You want to, like, walk around. You don't want to put clothes on. Or you don't want to get fully dressed. And suddenly everyone's going to peep in and see a dangus. Mm -hmm. um, that doesn't seem... Well, I think maybe the kind of people who build those big, expensive, ultra-modern homes, maybe they're proud of their dangers. Oh, oh like, uh, there's a ladybird in the base who I'm chill? worried it wants to try and eat our shit. Do I stab it? Hmm, shall I come help you? They, they look pretty tough. Yeah, okay, right. Well, I think it heard you, because as you said that, it decided to start walking away. <laughs> oh, you, yeah, you walk away. If you um do come back, maybe our powers combined, we can... Okay, well, if I get two more grubs, then we can both have canteens. Ooh! Great. <laughs>